So in this video, we will learn how to detect text and images with Google Cloud Vision and save to Google Sheet. Now suppose guys, you may have a lots and lots of images with some text and you want to get that text from those images and add those data somewhere else. Now guys, let me tell you, you can completely automate this process of extracting or detecting text from an image. So in this automation guys, suppose you are uploading those images into the Dropbox. So the trigger of this automation will be uploading a new image on Dropbox and then you after uploading automatically using Google cloud vision we are going to detect the text in that image and then automatically we are going to add all of those details in a google sheet as a new row so how you can set up this automation and automatically detect a text in the image to know this you have to come with me to my screen so as you can see here we are on public connect dashboard now to reach this dashboard you will get a free sign up link of public connect in the description box below by clicking on that link you can create your free public connect account in just two minutes and after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give your workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Dropbox to Google Cloud Vision to Google Sheets. And then just click on create. Now we can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is guys, in our Dropbox account, in our Dropbox storage, we are uploading some images. And using this automation, the text which we have in the, those images which we are uploading, we are going to extract or get those text and then we are going to add those text, the image name and the image link into a Google Sheet. So what we are going to do, we are going to upload the image on our Dropbox account and then automatically using Google Cloud Vision API, we are going to get the details of the text which we have in that image. And then after getting those texts or detecting or extracting those texts, we are going to mention the name of the image which we have uploaded, the URL of the image which we have uploaded and the text content of that image into a Google Sheet. So let's begin. So here in trigger window guys, in choose app, we have to first search for Dropbox. Because first we have to get the details of the image which we are uploading on our Dropbox account. So select Dropbox and in trigger event from the drop down, select new file. After that, click on connect and select add new connection. So here guys, we have to connect our Dropbox account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Dropbox button. And guys, because I have already logged into my Dropbox account in my browser, you can see that Pabli Connect has detected the same account and made the connection. After making this connection, the next thing it asks us is the folder path, that from which folder of our Dropbox account, we want to get the details of a new file. So here we have a specific folder in my Dropbox account named as images. And I want whenever a new file, a new image has been uploaded in this particular folder, then only we want to get the details of those images only from this folder, not from the rest of my Dropbox account or storage. So what we have to do, we have to enter the path of this folder. So the path will be anything after Dropbox. So here you can see the complete path Dropbox slash images. So slash images will be the path which we have. Just copy this from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. So this folder path is going to be stagnant. We are just going to get the details of the new images in this particular folder. If you have any doubt regarding entering the folder path, you can refer to the help text given below over here. And after this, just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, guys, it is showing us some kind of error response or no response over here. Because right now, this folder is completely blank. So every time we are going to upload a new image in our Dropbox account, the details of that image will be received inside Pavli Connect every 10 minutes. So we upload the image and within that 10 minutes, Dropbox is going to get the details of that image. But right now, because this folder is empty, that is why after clicking on save and send test request, it is showing us a no response of any of the image. So first, let's upload an image. We will go to Dropbox, click on upload, file, and then I have an image in my system. Just upload this image. And it is done. Here you can see that just now we have uploaded an image on my Dropbox account and it has some text over here. 
Now after uploading this image, once again we will get back to Pabli Connect and click on Save and Send Test Request. Now this time because we have uploaded a new image, we will see that in response we can see a details of a new image. So the first response which we get is the shareable link of the same image which we have uploaded. So here we are going to just copy this link, go to a new tab, paste it over here and after pasting this link you can see the same image. After this, when we are going to scroll down, we can see some other details regarding this same file as well. Like we have the name of the file, whatever name of the file we have given over here in this Dropbox account while uploading the file. We have the same file name. We also have the path of the file, then we will scroll down and we can see some other details regarding the same image, the same file as well. So in this way guys, you can see that all the details of the new file being uploaded on our Dropbox account is received inside Pavli Connect. Now what we want to do, we want to extract the text which is there in this particular image. For that, we are going to use Google Cloud Vision API. So just scroll down in your Public Connect workflow, come to your action window and here in Choose App, search for Google Cloud Vision. Select Google Cloud Vision. And then in action event from the drop down, we have to select the action event as detect text in images. Just select it, click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, what you have to do, you have to connect your Google Cloud Vision account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, it requires the API key of your Google Cloud Vision account. Now you must be thinking how you are going to get this API key. So here guys, in the help text below, it says here's the documentation to create Google Cloud Vision API key. And this is a hyperlink. Just click on it and it will take you to a new tab on our forum. And at this page of our forum, you will find a step-by-step -step guide that how you can generate the API key of your Google Cloud Vision account. So you just have to go to your Google Cloud account and after that you have to follow this complete step-by-step -step guys. So it is very easy to generate these API keys guys. Just follow these complete guides over here and then you will see that the API key will be generated and you will get the API key of your Cloud Vision account. Just copy this API key from here after getting it come back to Pabli Connect and paste it over here. And after that, just click on save. Right now in this video, I'm going to use my existing connection and I'm going to use my old API key connection and click on save. So you can basically follow all of these process and then you can just get that API key of your Cloud Vision account and then enter it over here and connect it. After connecting our Google Cloud Vision account, the only thing it asks us is the image URL. That from what image we want Google Cloud Vision to detect the text or extract the text. So we have the URL of the image which we have uploaded on Dropbox over here in this trigger response. So we have to basically map this same URL which we have received of a new file in our Dropbox, a new image in our Dropbox over here in this image URL section. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below, you can see all the responses of a new image in our Dropbox can be seen over here in the drop down below. So from this drop down guys, just select the response of the shareable link and it will be mapped over here. After mapping this URL of the image, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And in this response, guys, you can see the complete details of the text which we have in this particular image. So here, guys, in this image, let's open this image once again. So in this image, the inspiring words, fear kills more dreams than failure will ever, failure ever will. Suzy Kasim. So this is the text we have in this image. And then in the response which we have received, here you can see that the same text is been re received. So here we have a response as response zero text annotation, and this is the complete text we have. And also the language in which this is written. Then we are going to scroll down and you can see the exact location that at what location, which word has been written. So here you can see the complete details of the text with their locations in the image is been given to us by Cloud Vision API. And when you're going to scroll down at last, here you can see that we have a response that is response zero full text annotation text. So here we have the full text in the proper formatting which is entered over here or which is there in the image which we have added or which we have uploaded in our Google Drive. So in this way, using Google Cloud Vision, you can detect or extract the text you have in an image. And in this response, you can see the complete text has been given to us. Now guys, the step two of setting up this automation is also completed. We have received detected the text from the image. 
Now, what we have to do, we have to add all of these details like the name of the image file which we have uploaded, its URL and the text it has into a Google Sheet. For that, just scroll down, click on this Add Action Step button and here in Choose App, we have to search for Google Sheets. Select Google Sheets. Then after that, in Action Event from the drop down, select Add New Row. Click on Connect and select Add New Connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Google Sheets account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this sign in with Google option. Select your Google Sheet account in which you want to add this data. After that, just scroll down and click on continue. And when we click on continue, you can see that our Google Sheets account gets connected with Pabli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is to select the spreadsheet that in which spreadsheet we want to add these details. And in the drop down below, you can see a list of all the spreadsheets which we have in our Google Sheets account can be seen over here. So out of all of these spreadsheets, the spreadsheet in which we want to add the data, I have named this spreadsheet as text from image. So this is the name of the spreadsheet. So we are going to select the same spreadsheet from the drop down. Just select it. And after selecting the spreadsheet, the next thing which it asks us is to select the sheet. So here guys, you can see that in select sheet drop down, you can see only one sheet is there that is sheet one. This is because in this spreadsheet, we have only one sheet named as sheet one. So if you have multiple sheets in your Google spreadsheet, in the drop down below, you will see a list of all the sheets and in which sheet, in which particular sheet you want to add the data, you can select it over here. After this, we have created three columns of text in this spreadsheet and you can see all of these three columns as fields over here in Pabli Connect. File name, URL and text content. So one by one, we have to map the respective data in this field. So let's start with file name. So to map the file name, we have received the name of the file which we have uploaded on Dropbox over here in this Dropbox response. We have the name of the file. This is the response of the name. And also we have the URL of the file that which we have uploaded. And using Cloud Vision API, we have received the text which, uh, which we have in that particular image. So one by one, let's map this data over here. So for file name, just click here. And from the drop down below, from the responses of Dropbox, select the response of the name of the file which we have uploaded and it will be mapped over here. Follow the same process for URL. Just click here and from Dropbox re responses, select the response of shareable link and map it. And at last, text content. So we have received the text content from Google Cloud Vision. Just click here. And from this responses, guys, you can use this response or you can just go to the last and get this full text annotation response. Select it and map it over here. And mapping all of the details which you want into your Google Sheet fields, just click on Save and Send Test Request. After clicking on Save and Send Test Request, here you can see that we have received some response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the data which we have mapped over here, basically the details of the file which we have uploaded in the Google Sheet, the image which we have uploaded in the Google Sheets, its name, its shareable link, and also the text speech we have in this image has been automatically added in a new row in our Google Sheet. So let's check it. We will go to our Google Sheet. And yes, guys, here you can see that the same image name, which we have given the same file name, then we have the same URL of the same image which we have uploaded and the same text which we have in this particular image has been added in a new row in our Google Sheet. So this means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now what we have to do, we just have to keep on adding new images in our Dropbox account in this particular folder and automatically using this automation, what we can do, we can extract the text from that image and add all of these details in a new row in our Google Sheet. So guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation once in real time. We are going to upload another image with some text on our Google Dropbox. Just click on this upload button, go to files. We have this image named as real time test image. Click on open and it has been copied. Sorry, it has been uploaded. And after uploading this image, guys, here you can see that this is the particular image. Now, after uploading an image to this particular folder within 10 minutes, guys, because Dropbox takes 10 minutes to get the details or the data of new images in this particular folder, 
within 10 minutes we will see that automatically the details of this image will be captured the text will be detected and extracted using google cloud vision and we are going to add a new row of data in our google sheet with the name of this image file with the link of this image file and the text we have in this particular image which we have uploaded so what we are going to do we are just going to wait for 10 minutes over here and yes guys here we can see that after waiting for approximately 10 minutes we can see that a new row of data has been added in our google sheet in this data guys we can see the same name of the image which we have uploaded on our dropbox account so here is the same name of image then we have the url for the same image we are just going to open this url and we can see this is the same image which we have uploaded and also here you can see that in the next column we can have the text which we have in this image do more of what makes you happy so this is the same text which we have in this particular image over here this means guys the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine now every time you are going to upload a new image in dropbox automatically guys using those details of the newly uploaded image we are going to get that data and using google cloud vision api we are going to extract or detect the text from that image and we are going to add all of these details at last into a google sheet so not just these application guys you can connect plenty of other applications using public connect and guys one more important thing you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own public clinic account and use this workflow to create automations for your own. And also guys, let me tell you, public clinic offers you a forever free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own public clinic account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pabli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.